Okay, let's, uh, are there others? Okay, this is another one. Shirley checking her injuries, fearing people will judge her now because of her appearance. Okay, so, uh, puro Pilipina ba doon? At uh, may mga iba bang uh, nationalities? Uh, Shirley's a Filipina, by the way. Ina yan, na nabuhusan ng kumukulog siya. Pero sa shelter, halo-halo. May Indonesian, may Sri Lankan. Lahat ng migrant workers is welcome. I think they've prepared other photos, no? Uh, this is, okay, this is uh, victims of abuse comfort one another during a sharing session at Bethune House. A boost of morale is needed when most cases are being delayed and drag on too long. Some of them just give up and go home. When a case is filed, a victim cannot work in Hong Kong. Hence, Bethune House provides a home away from home. So, yung, uh, is, ano basa ko yung isang uh, aaralin mo sa New York. New York University, you know? Yung uh, Magnum Fellowship. Uh, it's gonna focus on human rights. So, will this be a big part of your career now? Uh, covering or documenting uh, OFWs, their problems, uh, their, the abuses that they suffer? Is that those are the human rights uh, issues that you'll be covering from now on. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, this is an ongoing project. And until now, I s I'm still doing it. And siya talaga yung biggest part ng karir ko. Kasi sino bang magkakwento kung di isa ring OFW na katulad nila. Diba? So, malaking advantage din talaga yung, uh, yung uh, background, no? So, so paano yan? Uh, <coughs> Of course, sabi mo nga, uh, you've, uh, you, you're already flying away from that uh, uh, occupation. No? So, in the future, how, will you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm uh, Sai Zabakani. I'm a former, uh, I'm like you, but I'm a former DH. Uh, and gagamitin mo ba yun uh, as a way of gaining access or entry? Pag uh, meron ka ng, uh, if you're already a certified professional photographer and may mga kliente ka na, you're doing this for magazines. You'll be using that as a way of gaining their trust. Yes, because access is gold. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if you have any way na ano magkaroon ng access in a good way naman. You, I think that's the most important <coughs> part of doing a documentary. Access is gold. Uh, quote by Jonathan Van Smith. <laughs> I'm sure may mga nagtitweet ngayon yan. Hindi, <laughs> uh, kasi uh, lahat naman tayo may mga kanya-kanyang uh, trabaho din at uh, uh, parang niche jobs or niche situations na pwede rin natin i-document, di ba? Halimbawa, may baka iba sa atin nagtatrabaho sa construction or whatever whatever occupation na uh, magbibigay din sa atin ng special access. So, yun ang sinasabi mo, no? You don't really have... It's just not... Ikaw, you just happen to be an OFW or a domestic helper, other people could be other kinds of jobs, have other jobs that will give them access as well. No? Um, okay, uh, aside from the suffering of OFWs, photography ka rin sa Pilipinas, no? sa Pilipinas to, no? So, hindi lang mga Hong Kong uh, situations yung din document mo. Ano naman to? Ano bang mga hilig mong kunan sa Filipinas and ano yung what's the difference between shooting in Hong Kong and shooting in the Philippines? Sa Pilipinas more on uh, tao. <laughs> kasi um, minsan naninibago ako dito kasi wala yung mga buildings na nag-i-slice ng light. Sa Hong Kong kasi madali sa akin kasi familiar na ako sa paglalaro ng ilaw doon. Pero pagdating ko dito it takes a little bit ilang hours na pag-aaralan ko yung ilaw. But sa Pilipinas siguro is much more interesting kasi yung mga tao eh. Eh kung titignan mo yung kuha ko sa Hong Kong, much more on light, architecture, and miserable photos. <laughs> but here in the Philippines, ang nakikita ko is masasaya kasi yung mga tao eh. I produce more happy photos here rather than in Hong Kong. Although, I... You also shoot a lot of Hong Kong people, no? Um, children and... Uh, uh, pero yun nga, yung, uh, the people, more people are smiling in your <laughs> Philippine photos. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so you shot... Uh, there are more photos that we prepared. Um, can we show the others? Meron kang theme. I don't know if they were able to compile yung iyong uh, 
PDA project. Meron kang PDA projects. Alam niyo ba yung PDA, no? <coughs> public displays of affection. So she has a whole series on public displays of affection. Ano yan? Inaabangan mo talaga na ako baka maghalikan itong dalawang uh, magkatsyawa. Uh, kukunan ko to. Uh, nung una is, ano, nakikurious ako sa mga taong gumagawa ng ganyan. Kasi parang, ang cute naman, di ba? Ano kaya nila nagagawa yun? Wala kaya silang pang, ano, check-in, charot. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Uh, but, nung iniisip ko kung bakit, uh, mahilig kasi ako sa, ano, isolation. I wonder kung ano yung difference nung taong may kasama at wala. Sa... Kali. And then I realized na yung mga tao na PPDA is isolated na rin eh. Kasi in-isolate nila yung sarili nila from the crowd. But, they become one. So yun yung naging ano ko sa series ng PDA and it also made me realize na hindi ko gagawin yun. Kasi baka mapitsuran din ako nakakahiya. <laughs> Taroy sa bitch, ha? Tinigil mo ba yun? Tinigil mo? Yung project na yun, PDA? Yeah, nasa, nasa kanyang blog, uh, sizeacruzbacani.com ba? Dot com, okay, nandun, she has a whole series. Nandun yung mga projects niya, dami dami yung uh, litrato, Philippines, uh, Hong Kong, nandun din yung Bethune uh, House uh, series niya, and then the, the whole series on uh, public displays of affection, uh, very, very cute. Um, okay, I have a couple of uh, questions left before we open the floor to uh, people in the audience. Uh, another photography question. Sino mga influences mo in photography? Do you, do you actively study, look at the photography of others? And would you care to share who, would, who are your big inspirations and influences? Mas mahilig akong magbasa ng quotes ng mga photographer rather than look at their images. Nung una, of course, Amini Gramet. Lahat naman tayo dumadaan doon yung titingin ka sa mga photo nila, what makes their photos tick, or bakit effective. But nung, especially nung nag-aaral ako ng composition, but then nung alam ko na yung gagawin ko, I stop, kasi ayokong ma-influensyahan yung, yung sarili kong vision. Kasi whether you like it or not, if you keep on looking at other people's images, tatanim yun sa'yo, and then when you shoot, parang nagagaya mo, whether you like it or not. Uh, actually, yung isang biggest influence ko talaga is Jonathan Van Smith. Follow ko siya from the start. Kaya yung work namin is somehow similar. The way yung processing namin. Pero marami akong gusto na photographer. Yung mga mababait. Na hindi mababait ah. Okay. Uh, yung may isang litrato ako nakita doon sa iyong uh, blog, no? Na... Uh, reflection sa tubig. Uh, parang may nakita akong konting preson doon. No? Uh, Henry Cartier Preson. One of his iconic, uh, yung decisive moment uh, photographs niya. I mean, was that was that an influence at all or ano lang, na, may nakita lang akong coincidence? Uh, preson is God. So, <laughs> di ba, lahat, sa tingin ko naman lahat ng street photographer tinignan yung gawa niya. So, and he coined the word decisive moment. So, influence ni Brasan yun. Even the way I compose. Aminin ka yun, very neat, very clean. It's because that's how Brasan composed. Sa mga una niyang gawa, yun yung mga napag-aralan ko sa daan. Diba? May ilig pag-usapan yung about HCB. Pati pangalan ko, influence niya. XCB. Yes! 